All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Elia El Matador Corporea! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Josh Emmett. All right, you have to be losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top, he's got the strong base, and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to advance position and get grounded on off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Wow. Beautiful leg kick throw. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Just misses there with the left. Let's get going now. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up. But Another beautiful takedown land. 
All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move to half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, straight right. Nice injury. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, and he's back up again. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. He just missed with the left there. Just inches away from landing one of those. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, straight right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Nice block in the follow-up counter with the jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. How about that chin? Checks the leg kick. Straight punch land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Single collar tie now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Not there. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. He's got the single collar tie. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. That is how you scramble, folks. Missed with that right hand. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Whiffs on the straight right. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go 
get him. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, straight right. Wow. It's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is what they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Ilya Can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.